Hey everyone, Mark here, and I want to walk you through a little project that I've got going on. Um, I have been doing some testing with some arrow flights and noticed that on my arrows, I've got these black streaks on my veins. These are the, the two veins that travel across my rest, but I can show you each individually. I was playing around with some fletchings. You can see those black marks going the length of the vein. And that tells me that I've got some interference between the rest and the arrow or the veins as the arrow is going through. And I also took a look at um, slowing down some video of a few shots. My video can only film at 120 frames per second. So <clears throat> the arrow is going through the bow. It's blurry each frame, but I can kind of tell that the vein is on the other side of the bow as the arrow rest is flipping down. So that tells me and seeing this that it's just getting it's, it's just a little bit too close and I need to adjust it. So in order to make that fine tune adjustment, normally if you had a drop away rest, um, you would just lengthen or depending on what you really want to do, you lengthen or shorten that cable length or move the position up and down in order to get that timing so that the, the rest is up when you, you drop back. But more importantly, the rest is down when the arrow is coming through right underneath the sight window. Now I can show you an easy way with the product from Sawtooth Outdoor Products. It is their anchor knot. And I've, I've done other videos where I've installed these very easy to use. In this case, I'm gonna have to lengthen that cable length. Because I've already <clears throat> installed this and finished this off, I will have to replace this cable. So we'll do that. And because this is already installed, we can clip this tight and we're going to measure then a new piece that is very close to the length because I know I'm, I'm really close. All right, so you can pick this. Um, it's just polyester loop material, BCY uh, material um, off of Amazon if you're working with some short length. Fairly inexpensive and I always have a little bit on hand for these types of things. Um, one for the drop away rest cord and then also for D loop material. I want to measure this and then just cut off just a little bit extra. So I'm gonna take what I've got and you'll see that the one end that goes into the rest has a nice bead on it. So we'll, we'll bead that over nicely. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually mark that length with a Sharpie so I know exactly where I am or need to be and then just add some length when I put that through the anchor knot. All right, so I, I went to the mark and just a little bit past. Let's see how that is. And if that's the location that I need, I'll cut that off and burn that. And we are set. So the one way to look at too is to take a, take a draw cycle and see where the rest is popping up and just make sure that everything timing wise can happen for you. 
All right, I'm zoomed in close, so hopefully you can see the rest as it pops up and the timing that we've got going on. I've got a brand new um, Black Eagle Arrow with brand new veins on it, and we're gonna just check out the timing. And on the quad rest, there is a, there are two lines that line up, and that tells you if you've got the, the rest in the fully loaded position. My goal is to, make sure that this lines up right at the end of my draw cycle so that as I release, the, the rest will be dropping as soon as it can and gets out of the way of that arrow as it's passing through. While setting up, you can quickly tune the length of your cord using the anchor knot by moving that that piece of cord in and out real, real quick to line up those two lines and line up the rest and time the rest. My goal is to have that rest just flip up right at the end of my draw cycle. Right there. And the lines are both, lay, are both lined up on the rest. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is going to be right where I need it. Alright, here we are. We've got an arrow knocked with the new cable length and I also put some of my kids um, sidewalk chalk on the bottom so we'll be able to see right away if it's hitting the rest. All right, so I've got it. I'm looking at the truck. It looks pretty clean. We're gonna shoot it again and then go back and review the footage. Looking at my rest too, there's no evidence of any chalk dust on the prongs. Time for turkey season. All right, folks, I wanted to take this out and show you. You can see those two black marks on there. Um, that's how much I had to adjust the, the length of the cord in order to get the timing dialed in just like I wanted to. So um, looks like almost a half inch there to uh, get the rest to fall um, as soon as I could so that's that's coming up right at the end of my draw cycle and falling as soon as it can There you have it